Hey everyone, good morning, and today we have a bit of a different video for you guys. So today we're gonna take a look at the uh, XP Pen RS 15.6 Pro. Uh, all those fine people at XP Pen uh, sent me a tablet to review, check it out. You know, we always have questions about people wanting to check out uh, different hardware other than uh, Wacom, which is uh, fantastic. So, and I also wanted to say that there is nothing that XP has told me that I need to review it in a positive light or anything like that. They want my honest opinion about it. Let's hop over to the unboxing of it and then we're gonna do up a little painting with it, see how it works. All right, let's, uh, let's unbox this thing. All right, so here's the box that came in. Uh, sorry for the angle, I don't have like a great camera setup for looking down here. Usually my camera is hooked up to my monitors, but eh, first off, the box looks great. You know, it might seem like a small thing, but how the box looks um, is kind of important. Let me just get this top thing slid right off, this cover. All right. There we go. And let's see what we got in here. You think I never opened a box before. Try to make sure it's pointed at the camera so we can see what's inside. That's cool. So I like that this is gonna seem like it's nice and lightweight as well. Uh, some monitors are so heavy, but the quality seems solid so far just from what I'm seeing. Like I think I've said in the uh, one of our other review videos, I love that there's different options available these days, I think. It's something I wish for for past decade that there was more options for tablets and different ways to draw. I don't even know what these are for. <laughs> we'll find out, I'm sure. I was like, these are strange plugs. They plug into something. Uh, this looks like it holds the pen. All right, let's see here. Looks like it pops out of here. Ooh. I think I showed this before too. I always like how a pen feels. Hmm, this actually feels really nice. This is actually probably one of the nicer feeling pens. I think it's a little bit lighter than other ones, but I think it's just, you get used to whatever. So that's solid. That's cool. Let's put that right here. This case is cool too, I actually like that. I have actually lost a lot of pens in my day. And, whoop, well, we ripped that right open. And it looks like other software, stuff like that. So that looks like everything that's in the box. This looks like the stand to set it up. So let's get all this shifted off. I'll probably do the install of it um, off camera. I cannot put this box back together. All right, well, we'll just put it right down over here anyway. All right, so here we have everything here. Let's put the pen here. And some of the software, we'll get this installed. And then we'll probably jump over to having the, uh, the whole thing set up. So I don't look like a total clueless person. You would think I've never even seen what computer hardware looks like before. I'm like, what? How do we put this on here? All right, uh, so yes, yeah, so this is everything in the box. Looks pretty cool. Let me get it set up since that's probably not the most interesting part anyway. And let's just start jamming some painting on this thing. You can actually see my reflection talking in this. There you go. All right guys, I'll see you in a couple seconds. Hey everyone, so we have it hooked up. Sorry for the weird camera angle. I'm like holding my Logitech camera right now. Uh, we have it hooked up, it was super easy. Here we go right here. Uh, really simple to uh, install. Really there's just a uh, you know, a cord that goes right to your video card, a USB, and then one right to the power, and then a uh, simple driver install. It looks like it's good to go. So I'll put the camera back. I'm gonna try to angle the camera down so you can see me paint on it and kind of review it at the same time. So let me get the camera reset up. We'll check that out, but this thing is pretty sweet looking. It is adorable. I like this thing already. All right, let's uh, pop it on over. All right, looks like we got the uh, camera set up. Sorry, I'm trying to squeeze in this little box in the corner here. 
But it looks like everything set up was pretty simple to get it going. I had to, uh, one thing to get used to right away is the resolution. I'm used to a uh, quite a large resolution, so. But for something uh, this size, totally uh, reasonable. So let's check all this out, see how the pen feels, how the uh, pen pressure feels. Feels like I have to put like a little bit more pressure on uh, than I'm used to, but I think like once you got used to the uh, this thing, it'd be totally fine. Man, you know, something like this, I would have like just killed for when I was younger. You know, this is old man artist speaking right now, but say having something like this in like high school or anything like that, I would have been amazing as an artist. I remember having to even do some drawings just using a mouse. It was awful. So I don't know what I'm painting here. We're just gonna kind of make a generic face. Yeah, so we'll just draw something random here. We we'll get like a little face going. And I wound up doing like a full painting uh, with this thing. I really want to see kind of result of doing something totally to the end on this. See kind of what we we get out of it. I'm telling you, all these uh, tablets been checking out. Uh, it's just for the price, guys. It's it's really is amazing to have so many options available. It's something that I've wanted for a very long time, so I'm always happy to check these out. But yeah, here we go. There's a little mouth and it actually like something about this size. I don't actually have a laptop, but if I did, this would be a great thing to just to plug in and rock. And he uh, said, if I was going on vacation, want to do some painting, we could do all that type of stuff. And that'd be great. But so far it feels like I could totally do a just as a professional painting on this as I could with any other kind of painting device I have. I'm still getting the same I feel like consistency with my uh, with my paint marking or brush marking. There we go. It's actually pretty nice. I actually like having something that's a little bit smaller too be easy to throw in a backpack or something like that, right? Especially like if I just want to do some some quick sketching. It would be great. And for this, it's actually going to be nice to just have an option to use in a paint for anything that I might want. Generic head with some hair that comes out the side. <laughs> Pretty standard of what I paint. And then, like most paintings I do, I start pretty low resolution. And then we'll upscale it from there. Up resin. Yeah, I, I feel no difference. And I'm using the same brush pack I always share with you guys on the channel right here. This is just using the DJ main, DG main like usual. It's solid. It was actually a lot of fun to paint on. It's kind of cool when you get a new device to try. You know, when you guys use like a different medium and any type of art, it's always kind of exciting to see how you bring your own work to it and how it, how it feels and turns out. Yeah, 
There we go. You guys know me, we would usually like clean this sketch up a bit. But yeah, all the same sensitivity, same settings I usually have on a painting. I'm not noticing really any delay. I know it's a pretty small image so far, but I'm not noticing anything. Because I have tried certain ones before and you, that delay would totally just kill it for me. I wouldn't be able to paint on something that had some type of delay. It would make me nuts. There you go. People still have lip rings in the middle of their lips anymore? I don't even know. <laughs> and we'll clean up the side of that face here. I do have a new keyboard I'm trying to get used to. My, uh, you get so used to where your fingers lay on certain keys, I bought a new keyboard, so I'm all thrown off. Good work, Dave, good work. And I, I might as well bring it up in this video too. Uh, we haven't had a, uh, <laughs> I have missed a couple of drawing with Dave's. We will get right back to him. I've had a bunch of work to uh, hop onto. I do apologize. Um, just as any kind of working professional artist, I just have to prioritize certain um, client work and unfortunately, I had to get some stuff done if you guys didn't see. Um, it is up on my Instagram and all that stuff. All right. This is pretty cool. We could make some type of little piece with this. Get some cool colors going. And I'll probably end up posting the uh, final of this piece. I do want to take this piece to final on this device. And I want to see uh, what we can do with it. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, it seems pretty standard. Everything is working right how I would think it would. If I got a multiply on here. Absolutely. And I'm still just using Photoshop in here. Everything worked out perfectly when I swapped over to uh, this device. So, load it up right away, no issue. Everything feels just the way it was. Which is awesome. Very, very awesome. Let's get a little color variation. There we go. We'll start pretty muted and then we'll we'll make it all pop later. Yeah, maybe we we might be able to think of an image that might be a little more interesting too, so we'll see. I'll kind of think about it. As far as the piece, you know this piece goes, it works for just getting this figured out. Like, let's see what the resolution on this is right now. Yeah, it's not too small, but I would definitely like to bring that up to at least this resolution here. And then we'll knock the whole thing down. I do like another sketch right on top, but I gotta say, this this tablet does feel really great. And like I said, um, there's no way I was told to have to review the uh, tablet or anything like that, but uh, it does, it feels great. I will let you guys know if it didn't because I constantly am being asked for recommendations and uh, different tablets to use. People are thinking about buying some new ones for you know um, graduation or holidays or anything like that. This seems like a solid, solid tablet. Uh, I would absolutely myself uh, buy one of these, 100%. It seems pretty great. Um, even the size, I think I, I could get used to working on the size. Um, I do get a, little, get a little claustrophobic on some of the smaller screens. It feels like I just need a little bit of uh, room to breathe on it. But I think, especially for um, paintings this size, I think I think you could get the exact same result with it. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for checking this out. Um, I'll have a link down below if you guys are looking to pick this up. 
So definitely check that out. And guys, thank you so much. And let me, let me fix this camera here. Uh, there we go. See, this is a very professional channel. I can't tell. It's, I'm barely even in it. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Uh, see you. I should have another Drawing with Dave out at the end of this week. Uh, thank you guys so much for uh, watching this. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.